Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty, food review. And, uh, well, back to good afternoon and it up, because that's what it is. It's We're on the verge, we're on the cusp now of saying good evening and good afternoon, because it's 5.47pm, so it's, I guess, good late afternoon uh, to, be, to be all smart like that. Um, you know, the item today that I'm reviewing is, uh, it's been requested. Uh, it's another creation from Burger King, so we're, we're paying tribute to the king now. And uh, it's been requested a lot, getting a lot of media coverage, so I bet a lot of people might want to see it reviewed as well. It's the Whopperito. Um, pretty much Burger King, you know, they're kind of like Taco Bell at the rate that they just pump out new stuff. It's going to say new garbage, but not all of it's garbage. Some of it, granted, is, um, but not all of it is. But they pump out stuff very, very frequently, um, just at a very high rate. And uh, they're always trying out new things. So, you know, the day that they came up with this, I bet it was a slow day in the boardroom. And someone said, hey, yeah, yeah, let's just get a Whopper and let's just put it in a tortilla and rebrand it. And that's what they did. And thus the Whopperito was born. Um, and that's all it literally is. It's a Whopper, take away the buns, wrap it in a tortilla, and that's what you got right there. Um, it's exactly, exactly what it is. Um, you could say, well, they're getting into Taco Bell territory, perhaps they are, um, but anyone can make a, a burrito, really, no one, no one just has that sole right to do it. So in it is, uh, the, the beef, the, uh, the char-grilled, you know, or flame-grilled, whatever they call it, beef, um, from their Whopper. You also get, you know, lettuce, tomato, cheese, um, I might also add some sauce in there as well, but hopefully the distribution in here is uniform. Um, but also you get a good amount, and, uh, hey, that said, we're just gonna try, because then everyone just wants me to, to eat it and talk about it, so that's what we'll do, and we'll quit wasting everyone's time. So the Whopperito from Burger King going in. Someone said I should just take two bites and then review it. So if I did that, this is why it disproves that theory. All I would be talking about right now is a little bit of tomato and a tortilla, and that's it. And that's why I gotta take more bites. Tastes better than I thought, but my god, does that not look appetizing right there? That beef on the left, wow. That just looks like it's it's diseased or something. I mean, that is disgusting looking. Now, it doesn't taste too bad, but well, I mean, that just makes it look gross, you know? All right, well, here's what it tastes like. Um, interestingly enough, believe it or not, Burger King, you know just as well as I that they're not a taco place, they're not a establishment of burritos. Um, what they are able to do, however, is they're able to really be able to create, um, to say it this way, and then I'll elaborate, they're really able to get a, a grand uh, diapason of flavor in this burrito, which means they're able to get a real harmony of flavor in this. Um, Taco Bell, you know, when they make a burrito, they just squeeze a little bit of that, slop a little bit of that in there, roll it up, and, you know, voila. And it's not uniformly distributed. Um, you'll find that there's parts of the Taco Bell burritos where it's just the cheese sauce, there's parts where it's just some meat there, you know, mostly lettuce. This, on the other hand, actually is able to create a burrito that really has a uniform distribution of the beef, um, the lettuce, little bits of tomato as well, um, the pickles, and then throughout it all is a, uh, 
I believe, a cheese sauce, and then there's another sauce as well. It has almost like a little bit of a, a maybe they call it Whopper sauce, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it has a bit of like a, a Chipotle-like kick to it. Um, not to elaborate on what everything tastes like. The best way to describe it really when you're biting it is that it's indistinguishable from a Whopper. You might think, well, it's prepared differently, you know, it's composed differently, so it has to taste different from a Whopper, right? It, I, it's not like I'm eating it as a burger, I'm eating it as a, uh, you know, as like a wrap here, like a burrito. It has to taste different, right? Well, not entirely. When you're using the exact same ingredients and really not altering them in any way except how they're tossed down, um, on something to wrap them up, why would they taste any different? You know, that's a question that I ponder to myself quite often. Uh, I was up all night last night just just thinking about that, actually. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a rough night, but I was just, you know, I was thinking nonstop about the Whopperito, and I was just thinking, you know, would it taste any different? I don't know. Crazy stuff, right? Now, the beef itself is, uh, not the greatest quality. I know they they say, well, it's flame grilled. You know, we we had this roasting above a flame for 14 and a half hours straight. They they over exaggerated to that degree, but that's not actually the case. Um, the fact of the matter, though, is that the beef itself is a little bit dry, um, really lacking in flavor. Um, the real star of this, you're going to notice, you're going to bite in, you're going to notice, you know, the beef there, you're going to notice some of that flavor there, a little bit of the saltiness also coming in there. Um, you're going to notice it is a little bit chewy because the tortilla that they use is very chewy. Um, you're going to notice little flavors here and there, you're going to notice sometimes a, a little bit of a, a tanginess from the dill pickles that they use. Um, otherwise a little crunch from the, uh, you know, from the lettuce and the tomatoes. But the real interesting thing is the, uh, the sauce that they use, which really... Believe it or not, you bite it and you're even able to get a little bit of a real flavorful spiciness um, with the Whopperito here. Now, it's not incredible. It's not something that you're going to be, you know, screaming, oh, God, it's so hot. You're not going to be doing that. You're just going to notice, yeah, it's a little spicy. It's more of a flavorful spiciness than anything else. Um, it really just amplifies the flavor. But it is a flavorful um, burrito. Uh, it's not visually pleasing whatsoever. I mean, if I... This is one of those things you just close your eyes and you just munch away and focus on the flavors and not what you're eating. Um, you know, because it's not visually pleasing. Um, but it tastes okay. Alright. You just gotta ask yourself and you gotta remember, I'm getting this from Burger King, okay? That's where I'm getting this from. I'm not getting it at a five-star restaurant. I'm not getting this from... Steak and Shake or Five Guys, I'm getting this thing from Burger King. So act accordingly and expect, expect accordingly. All right, you just have to remember that. Um, but for what it is compared to other Burger King items, um, it's it's average. Um, you know, it's okay. Um, it's not horrible. It's not something that I'll be saying, well, this thing's, this thing's going down the drain. No, I could eat this. I will eat this. Um, but you just got to know that, you know, it's not it's not perfect in that regard, all right? It's a good little snack if you just want to try it out, um, and you're not expecting, you know, a five-star meal out of this, um, then it's it's okay for you. But you just got to remember the quality of the beef is not the greatest, um, but that goes along the standard of, of what Burger King usually has uh, to begin with. So, you know, you go there expecting it, you know what you're going to get, and then you won't be disappointed. But if you go there expecting the richest, you know, best burrito you've ever had, um, yes, you will be disappointed, very thoroughly so. So, you know, just have to have the right frame of mind there. Uh, this thing was, uh, oh, what was it, two ninety nine for it? You know, it is, uh, it is all right size. Um, you know, at least you are getting a good portion, and there is, despite the quality of the meat, a good amount of it in the burrito, so at least you can say, well, they didn't jip me on that. Um, so that's, you know, that's a good thing there, at least. All right, so given the price... Um, given the quality, given the overall flavor, which is not bad, um, I'm gonna have to give this, I'm just gonna have to give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10, um, due to the fact that, you know, the beef isn't the greatest quality, but it does have a nice blend of flavors, um, you know, everything really does combine together well, and I really do like that little spiciness that is in the sauce that comes in there that really adds some flavor to it, um, you know, I will say that, that, that's why it has the rating that it has, it's a tiny bit above average on my scale. 
Um, so that's the Waparito. I think we thoroughly dissected it and tasted it and consumed it. And, uh, you know, otherwise, uh, just in, in channel news, uh, people have been wondering when the VORW shows are going to come. Um, maybe later this week. I can't promise anything, but I'll see about that. And, uh, you know, today, uh, today's been a, a good day. Yesterday, uh, yesterday was a bad one. Um, you know, I, I filmed a review yesterday, actually, but, uh, just during a, you know, bad time, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing much, much better now, and, uh, <clears throat> so I'll see if I even bother uploading that or not, but I'll, I'll keep in touch with you on that, um, but today's a good day, so that's, that's good at least, and I said, you know, I'm gonna do a review, and, uh, it'll be a good day. So that's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, that's all that there is. This is Running an Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and today's review was for the Whopperito from Burger King.